Hi, I was just thinking um, how amazing that we lived in a yurt for four months in the jungle of Panama. It's right there. Are you filming? Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Mom? It was a scorpion. Mom, can you? That is our buddy, the massive spider right by our door, but he only comes out at night time. Good morning, sweet friends. So I think one of the, well, probably one of the like biggest cons of living in a small space is um, that it gets super untidy super quickly, especially if you have two little ones. But the bonus of that is also that it takes very quick to make it all tidy and clean again. So yesterday we had an off day. It was an amazing day, so much fun. Um, really just we needed that and so it got a bit out of hand our living situation so I need to clean this and I think I need an extra cup of coffee to do so so first coffee then clean and then we'll do a little tour <laughs> so it is looking rough Where's your pudgy? but we got two new babies to the family and they are just so <laughs> sweet we have been loving them bluey is mine by the way uh, that one is bluey not the one on my hand he's still getting used to me but fairy which is this one on my hand is the most used to me not gonna lie i feel like one big constant in my life this year has been the mom bun and it's probably something that needs a bit of addressing at some point So one of the big things about living in New York is that you're very connected to the elements. If it's cold, you're feeling the cold. And if it's hot, you're feeling the hot. And because you're in such a small space, the humidity builds up quickly. And um, so it's very important to have some kind of airflow in the yurt. So we actually have some flaps that we can open up and close. And these flaps have been amazing. They've definitely made it so much easier and so much comfortable to actually live in the yurt. So that little bugger nearly just dropped on me and is not trapped. Mom, please don't kill him. It's not trapped in between the flap. I'm telling you, one thing I am not going to miss about yurt living are the spiders and the scorpions and no. I'm, <laughs> I've reached a point where I'm just over it. Like yesterday we had to jump out of the bath because there was a massive tarantula like right next to us. A huge spider in the toilet this morning, walking into the yurt, almost walked into a spider. Now when I close the flap, I'm like, surprise, surprise, another big spider. And that's from the inside of the yurt and they pretend to be dead. That's what happened to the one that I almost walked into the door as well. Like you think they're dead, but they're not. <laughs> Very much alive. Bella. Bella. This deck has been so wonderful, especially for the children to play on and to be outside at the same time. We didn't get to utilize it much because it was um, rainy season during our stay. So it was mostly wet for the majority of the day. But I would say having an extension out like this on your yurt is a fantastic idea. It's truly so functional and beautiful, um, especially if, go if you have a magnificent garden like this. So definitely one of our favorites. A 
Okay, so I had every intention of having this place pick and span to give you a beautiful tour of our yurt that we have been living in for the last four months. However, <laughs> real life happens <laughs> and you're just getting real life footage, <laughs> I would say. So we are moving tomorrow. Uh, we will no longer be in Boquete, but we are starting a new adventure in Los Algarabos. Algarabo. Los Algarabo. <laughs> so, um, yeah, welcome to our yurt, our living space. It's been awesome, but we are also really appreciative for our new move. Moving on. So one big bonus of us living in a community setup is the laundry unit that we have. Obviously, when you're in a yurt, you won't have the space to necessarily have a washing machine or tumble dryer or anything like that. And all your washing will have to be done by hand. So having an outside laundry like this is a very good idea. gardens have been so amazing. Little Bella Fleur is eating the oregano that is growing here. There's a lot of um, herbs and wild plants growing and they've really made an effort to start a, a permaculture garden. It smells amazing. It's so good. So our yurt was made by Pacific Yurts in Oregon, USA, and it has these wooden lattices, I think it's called, <laughs> and so they're awesome. The only problem is that we found, I think we found like six scorpions behind them and a lot of spiders. So it does make for a good hiding place for insects and bugs and so on. Yep. Canvas is actually completely waterproof and weatherproof. So no wind comes through, no water has come through once in here. So I'm really, really impressed with that. We do have a little bit of mold on the roof, but we don't actually have um, an oven in here. It's still impressive for um, Panama and Paquete specifically, where the rainfall is so heavy and so much, and the humidity is really, really high. So to have like just one little spot in the entire year is, qu um, is quite amazing. Welcome to our kitchen. Um, the first day that we moved into our yurt, we have been here now for four months. The first day that we moved in, we actually encountered some electricity problems where one of the leads exploded and we had a little electric fire. <laughs> Luckily, we were able to put that out very quickly. But what that did mean in the end was that we had to move all of our devices to one of the plugs in this area of the yurt. So, um, I don't know anything about the electricity setup in this yurt because we didn't build it ourselves and we are only here temporarily. We've been here for four months and tomorrow, like we said, we are moving on. Um, so it has been all right. I mean, we've been making it work. The only thing that I had to consider was like, what am I going to cook first? Am I cooking the veggies first? Am I doing the bread first? Am I doing the rice first? Just sort of keeping that in mind has helped a lot. But one of my favorite utensils in the kitchen has been this wok cooker it is quick and it is amazing and then this little oven i've also really enjoyed it's super tiny like <laughs> super tiny i'm able to do two toasts in here and i'm able to do six cookies at a time 
but we've also made it work I haven't actually made anything else other than chosen cookies in here but um, it's been a great help and then this is also a convection oven if this is something that you like to use then I think it's a great add-on for us personally it's not something that we really like to utilize however this one stove cooker we've been using daily and a couple of times a day like from the morning till the night um so obviously you would think about your preferences and what you need in your kitchen but for us for that for now for just living here for a couple of months it has been fine um i think as with any tiny living space storage might be a little bit of an issue so we've got most of our food in here and then i've got some extra food and rice and spices in a drawer in our cupboard actually so i mean for me personally the storage has been a little bit of an issue but once again we've been here for way longer than most people would maybe be here for a weekend or a week or two at most um yeah about having a little seating area like this or a little living room or study area especially if you're like a family of four then everybody can sort of have their own space like in the mornings when Bella and Jade were still asleep and, Jade and Denz has gone to work then this was sort of my area where I could read and I could start my day off in a more connected space The units had outside bathrooms, which is communal bathrooms, but we were very lucky enough that the one whole side of the bathrooms was dedicated to us to use. Uh, we found this little guy in the toilet as we were filming, and he was there actually for a couple of days and running down the wall to meet us. The bathrooms had the most magnificent views stretching towards the mountains of Costa Rica. We were very lucky to have a bathtub and some hot water. Most of the times the water was lukewarm, but if you went very early in the morning, then the shower would be lovely and warm. We had the most gorgeous views from the bathtub, looking straight into the forest. The gardens of the yurt was truly a sanctuary for us as a family where we could play and just enjoy the magnificent views with the most incredible sunsets, the eagles flying above and the vultures coming to visit. Denzel also worked in the garden a couple of days helping out with his permaculture skills. <laughs> This is one of the trees that Denzel um, tried to give a bit of TLC and as you can see all these light colored leaves, all of that is new growth. It's amazing, it has grown so much. We enjoyed eating fruit from the beautiful guava trees and also had so much fun playing with Rocky the border collie of the owners. So this garden will always be ingrained in our memories and in our hearts as a very special sanctuary for us and our time living at the yurt in the mountains and the jungle of Panama. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your presence here. Thank you so much for your love and for your support. We hope to see you in the next one. Hi, I was just thinking, um how amazing that we lived in a yurt for four months in the jungle of Panama and uh, you know like how you you only miss something when it, once it's gone and I sort of feel like we didn't really embrace it enough we you know we went through all of the emotions and the roller coaster ride of having just immigrated and grieving our, for our family and our animals and what we have left behind and um and just being worried and concerned about scorpions and spiders that we really just didn't take it in, I think. So it's bittersweet to say goodbye. Um, yeah, it's been awesome. 
and it's memories that we will definitely have and remember for the rest of our lives, definitely. Something's in my pants, it's biting me. Probably just the mosquito. Somebody like left in a cave for eight months, you're very scaredy pants. <laughs> Whatever. Guys, I'm the closest one, I'm the one that has to catch them. He's probably an albino. I think albinos only come out at night. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> dear friends. Hello, dear Mama. friends. So Mama. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Retry, mom. Retry.